Oh, it's springtime when the poppies are out in Italy. Get ready for this. Two thousand and seventeen, Brescia, Italy, celebrating the ninetieth anniversary of the Millimilia. And now let's visit the Millimilia Museum. It's an old monastery celebrating the ninetieth anniversary of the original Millimilia. A couple of glimpses of the museum. There's a part of the old monastery, and then of course to the right of the entry is a very fine restaurant. Mercedes Benz sponsors the event, and there's going to be a huge dinner and that sort of going on here. But this is the museum proper. And on the wall is a presentation of all the previous winners of the Melanie. And as you enter, there's a number of fine photographs. So, let's enter the museum. Fiat Belilis and one gorgeous Alfa Romeo. And this various car entered the Middle Million race in the late 30s. Quite a lineup. And this Lancia Astura entered the 1940 Middle Million. Staggering lineup of cars. Herminis. Yeah, it's a number of them. Stanguilini. Giannini Gilco. Lancia. It's like an Oscar and a Ferrari in background. Oscar. Lancia and Seattle, including an exhibit of Fellini and his use of the Millimilia in some of his movies. As you come around the corner of the museum, here's that Zagato Ferrari. This car for the past two years has been sitting in a shop near the museum. Now it looks like it's going to be restored. What a great sight to see this Zagato Ferrari, almost completed. The exhibit continues. Moretti, Alfa Romeo, looks like an Oscar or a Fiat V8 back there. Here's a Moretti. Seen this in the Millimillium many times. This is a Fiat 8V by Morelli. That's Morelli, Fiat V8. Speaking of Fiat V8s, here's a Vignali. Fiat V8, and this is a Zagato. Down the line, Lancia, Jaguar, Alfa Romeo, Bandini way down there, and here is a Maserati 6C. And this is a Bandini. Needless to say, a very impressive museum. We're at Brixa Motor Classic. One of the shops that prepares cars for the Millimilia. Ferrari. Now, here's what I come to the Millimilia for. One of these little Etcetarinis. Yeah, a little jewel. I'm sure it's going to be ready. And an Armini. And a Bugatti. driven, believe it or not, by Ferrari and Ferrari. Ah, little Fiat 1100. I mean, the cars are packed in here. Great discovery. Oh my goodness, they painted the tin can blue. It's been on the Millimilli before, it's a Renault. Or who knows, I think there's more than one. So it's getting ready for the Millie though. Now for another shop, hopefully full of Millimilia cars. Yes, maybe not for this year's Millimilia. 
But then again, there are some ready for this year's millimilia. Here it is, one of my favorites. Stan Grillini. Oh, but this little Alpha TZ. Now this is Italy. Never knowing what to expect. It's a Pagmornelli. Getting very close to this Pagmornelli. I think it has a Lancia V4 engine in it. Anyway, it's great. Yeah, but this one definitely looks ready for the Milamilia. Now here's another Bugatti. Just almost similar to the one we saw in the other shop. Getting ready for the Milamilia. 1923. So we leave Campani Motors. And some of the cars are starting to show up. In fact, a lot of them have already. Maserati A6 T. Well, hey, you get some of the choice little ones as well. No name on it though. Gotta be Italian. Well, the front didn't identify what kind it is, but the back did. I guess this is an identification. War and Sea. War and Peace, who knows. And a Lancia Lambda, one of the longest cars ever made. Okay, I'll be up front. A Studebaker, hmm. And something very small. It's a Dagrada. Ah, Aston Martin. In Italian red, right? <laughs> okay, this is why I come to Milamilia. You've heard me say it before. Rarely seen Asuka. How rare is this? It's a tight fit. Yeah, the fin is outstanding on this car. Here's a nice duo. A couple of AC aces. Two aces, not bad. Now, here's the fun of it all. Cylinder Ferrari, very brute. So how about a little brute? Very little. This is Italian. Mighty horsepower. This is a Talbo. French blue. Speaking of those two AC coupes, here's an AC Bristol. Or Tony body. Even on Tuesday, this is two days before the event starts and leaves town. But this is for scrutineering. Well, you leave for a while and quite a few cars show up, including some very colorful ones. This Ferrari looks like it's already been in the event. A little, a little dirty. A few more. This last one is the Ack Miller Special. Ack Miller, the hot rodder that entered the Mexican road race, entered this car in 1957. It has a Chrysler Hemi in it. And that little Oscar in the trailer outside Well, it has a fin, this has a headrest. And this Oscar has no rest. Great looking though. This morning we saw the same Stangolini on the left. Well, look what's moved in. White cheese Italia. Yeah, here's an old Alpha. Planking along. Seattle. So here's a little piece of Stangolini. Getting placed on the ground very, very, very carefully. Oh, Millie Millie is so much fun. Now you can see how small this car is. Okay, next, BNC. Great little car. Healy. How's this for an Italian lineup? We need to see that again. She's Italian. Saw this one in a millimillia at least 12 years ago. He had variation. Of course, that's a TZ Italian, but this is a Stangolini. It's called a Stelladoro. I think that's a word for spaceship. <laughs> Very far advanced. Beautifully restored. Uh, you go from that Stangolini to this Bentley, capital B. Elvis. And if you want some early Italian iron, how about this Maserati? 
And not to be outdone, here's a beautiful red Lagonda. And then there's Porsche, and here's this gorgeous 57. And just came Bandini. Bandini? Maserati. An FL on the hood. I don't know what it is, but it was in 54, 55, 56, 57 million million. Yeah, an FL on the hood. beautiful portion it's about a 56 57 now here's a brute HWM Jaguar and GR Maserati and a GR Lagunda. back I really did cars like this need a little more attention they're so unusual called a Fleodoro I don't care what you call it it's unique you'd say the Tizitari was unique but this takes the prize Fiat 1100 Aladoro at the Bentley Alfa Romeo Elvis and another Bentley. Well, I was really looking at interesting or strange Italian cars. Let's go back to this one. Fiat. Nice to hear a Porsche. There's a glamour photo shoot that's going on, and there's a line of cars that are going to be in it. Here's this Aston Martin. Very remarkable fenders on this car, very dramatic. Bugatti is ancient. Look at that engine. Now we have two Bugattis here, but this was the one we saw the engine. It's a 1920, and it's the oldest car this year appearing in the middle of Note the seating arrangement here for the co-driver. This is a rare one. They've cleaned it up now. A couple of girls getting in it. Getting clear here now. This is a 1920, but it's a Type 23. Very rare. From two Fiats to a Ferrari, the glamour shots await. Now we we'll get the girls in. I think they're gonna drive. That's what we need. That's what we need. Very hot day today. I think I'll come in and cool off a little bit and check a few more red cars. Choose Italia. And they just rolled in the Oscar that we saw earlier this morning on the trailer. And yes, because Mercedes sponsors the event, the Gold Wing is in predominance, including this Mexican Road Race Gold Wing. Also, a few Beetles are involved. I have to laugh, but this Studebaker looks brand new. It's so shiny. It's getting a lot of attention. And this green Alfa Romeo is getting no attention. Why is that? 
I mentioned earlier about the gull wings, other Mercedes on display, and this one is a Milli Milli winner, way back when. Of course, BMW gets their uh, piece of the action too. Ah, the Milli Milli is so wonderful. In all its varieties. Unique and different. Aston Martin. At least the grill. Man, look at this jewel of an Aston Martin that just rolled out. There are more instruments on in this car than an airplane. Look at this. Look at the toggle switches. Oh, yeah. Everything. It said it had twin engines or something. afternoon. She's Italian. She's Italian. OM. A little British piece of machinery here. Now check this Bugatti. A delicate little thing. small but these people really make this car dwarf it another one of those little ones now here's an OM which was made in Russia but interestingly entered by Russians yeah I had to stop and show this uh, Alfa Romeo it's got loaded with patina. It's fantastic. Notice the front, sort of traditional. Look at the rear. It's got like the bucket seats in there. Look at the springs and everything, and then the oil tanks or gas tank. And everything. The buggy looking seats. Off the mail of another era. I'm at the media office in downtown Brescia. And they have quite a display of pedal cars. Also on display is a 1920 Ballou, Indianapolis car. Right, Grand Prix, 1906. This car won the first Italian Grand Prix. It was in the 1920, 22 Indianapolis. And the tires are Firestone. It's trying to start it. <laughs> now this guy is serious. I mean, why do you have a car on display and these guys walk over the ropes and want to start it? Okay. Look at this. Unbelievable. <laughs> They know what they're doing, I guess. Indianapolis, French Grand Prix, Italian Grand Prix, Indianapolis, Brooklyn. Work at the Brescia, Grand Prix of Italia. Italian. Also on display is this, uh, well, uh, National Luce broadcast truck. Propaganda. You know, it's got to be for the media people, right? Fantastic. This lady is brave enough to go in this, in this EB vehicle. This is going to be wild. Climbing in, give them the steering wheel. Only in Italy do you have this. I mean, it's just remarkable. Slips right in. 
Got the uniforms on. It's a hot day here. On goes the steering wheel. Up goes the windscreen. And they're ready to go. They got it. the day begin a lot of those empty spaces are going to be filled today on Wednesday just look amongst all the etcetarinis and other things the Seattle and this is an early Superleggera Turing bodied Fiat here's some heavy-duty British iron HWM Jaguar and an Alta well, here's some heavy-duty British iron here, an MG. My goodness. Now, here's some lightweight British iron, MG. Now, this says Fiat on the hood, but boy, it looks like a Simca to me. Now we're even getting smaller, Seattle. Now, matching the color of the truck it came in, it's a Giannini Sport. Now this is the Seattle that just wheeled up, so a little bit of Italian machinery here this morning. And the Seattle ran in the 1952 Millimilia. I say this many times when I do Millimilia videos. This is where my, a lot of my interest lies in these post-war Italian cars, maybe pre-war some of them, just little hot rods. Very basic. It's all Italiana this morning. 1952, Millimilia. 1937, Millimilia. Yep. The big ones have arrived. Now the other one of the Italian lineup, Brandoli Marcus, it's called. I think the lineup is completed now. 1955 millimilia, 13th in class. <clears throat> well, I don't know what happened, but he sure came down the road. A lot of gusto. HWM here. So, uh, gonna have fun. Gonna, well, gonna have fun with it, I hope. All right, here we go. Sounds great, though. Sounds like an automatic. <laughs> Ferrari. Well, man, they got a Lambda, long wheelbase. <laughs> Stangolini. Look out. Look out. Man, here comes that Italian lineup. Piazza Dan. Right through. And here's a very nice 
Skullwing. That's the Martin. Alpha male. that every year. Sometimes you miss them. Sometimes they need a little work. Look what just arrived. Alpha male. I mentioned some need a little help. Somehow this Maserati doesn't need any help. It just looks perfect out here. The early morning sun. Now this is one great risk is they can bring valuable cars down. <laughs> Easily. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Then got a black trailer. Black Ferrari. Sounds pretty good. It can't be. Tell me it can't be. After that Maserati, look at this. Little cream puffs. Delahaye. What's this? 1936 Alpha Male HC. Bunch of people not in the event, including the replica C type. Hey! They're having just as much fun as the other guys. You bet! Now check this Bugatti out. Okay, okay, check this Ferrari out. Spider, another Arnold Bristol. What is on it? Very clean little spider. Still needing some TLC. Pretty nice though. Launch here. Lost his way. Outside this morning, uh, we missed this alpha, it was left on the trailer. Yeah, now we get a real chance to see this. Alpha. Here are a couple of bad hombres. Yeah, bad. Look at that body ripple. I had to say to myself this morning, no, 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 not this car. Don't show it, don't show it. Ooh, ooh, a rocket 88. 
A little bit of Zagato here. Alfa Romeo. Maserati. Now this is scrutineering. Let's just take a peek. Six cylinder engine. Butterfly hood. Nice. And we saw this one come in, we also saw this Bugatti before, is that rare? This Alfa, this Alfa Romeo is 1936 and raced in the original Mille Mille. This car is essentially 81 years old. Remember this morning? About noon on Wednesday night. Very impressive. Well, it passed through an area. Sounds great, did it? Now for now. Looks like, a, looks like a Jaguar. Sounds like a Jaguar. Those guys are having a lot of fun. I'm like a duct tape to hold the car together, and this one looks like it needs it. Now here's your standard Lancia Lambda, okay? Notice the names of the drivers and co-drivers. favorite replica Alfa Romeo that's here last year. I don't know if they sold it or not. I didn't buy. A few more adjustments and they'll be ready for the road. It's that Alfa Romeo. Still no takers. Hmm. It's just close to lunch hour so everybody's going out. A British brute. Remember the Bugatti that came in earlier? Uh, it's time to wait for the train. Yeah. And then yesterday he was showing us. And the black Ferrari that came in earlier. Oh, it's actually mine. It's very fitting here. There's another Stangolini. This is all you get to see today of the Ferrari that came in earlier. We'll see it later. Why do you always seem to cover up Ferraris? Why is that? Very convenient car to work on. Reach through the two holes in the back. Porsche Spider. <laughs> you remember the Ferrari that was covered up? Well, at least the hood's open. Look at that. 340. Okay. Now from that Ferrari engine to a Lambda launch engine. P4. A little break from the cars. Italian pastries. Some more. How right about this little combination? It's a Giaro on the left and sort of a Lancia combo on the right. I think this combo is just sweet. So sweet. Finally, after all these years, I have a chance to see what's under the hood. Here is the Lancia part. Like a toy. All right, all right, I'm obsessing, and rightfully so. This is the Millimilli and, and Due. Due, Millimilli, et cetera. This Alfa Male we saw yesterday, I think it's very intriguing. Like I say, the front is, you know, somewhat worn, like a lot of them. But it's the seats in the back. Almost like an afterthought. Or should I say from another age. So you got the Due Italian cars. Here's Due German cars. 550 Spiders. Hey, red cars forever. Covers off the Ferrari. Vignale. You know, an OM built in Russia won the first Mille Mille. This could be that one, or very similar. 
looking very Alfa Romeo-ish. Italian cars forever. That's the middle of Italy. Well, we were running a little short on Ferraris this year, and they're starting to show up now. And this is one really big one. Here's the Oscar. This is a coli. Get it where you can. The hood is open on this little Fiat. This little Fiat. The spaceship. Mighty horsepower. And the spaceship windshield. This is a mighty power plant. Then you come out in the sun, you realize how some of these are just unbelievably beautiful. They also run well, too. Here's my Ferrari with all the noise. Tower here, very spindly Bugatti. Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Well, we saw it in the back of the shop the other day, and here it is. The Renault. Speaking of in shop, this just came in and that's the car we saw on the rack the other day. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's a Paganelli. In all of its glory. I might say in all of its rugged good looks. Now, how about this toy? Fiat. And all of a soup to do styling. The hood ornament says NSU Fiat. Leave it at that. Now, when it comes to big Alfa Romeos, this fits the coin. Participated in the Millimilia years ago. Fiat. Here comes our little spaceship. This is a DB and participated in the 1950 millimilia. Well, nice to get out in the sun and enjoy the car. And you never say. Like I said, this looks like a, a um, <laughs> Simca. It's sort of out of sequence here. This little car was sitting out in the parking lot. There's a number of Italian, other Italian cars this morning. Here's the engine. It's a Topolino. And these are the one with the light out front. The one look like this. 1949, 50 million there. Amazing. All right, let's get on this one. This is a Seattle. But the, the guy is driving it, and he's been trying to find out its back history. It's amazing to hear the story. Now, that red Seattle we were just looking at, it had a Topolino engine and undercarriage. Now, here is a Topolino, along with the horn. 1952 Porsche. Now, these two guys, they can't get enough of this event. They're back again for more abuse. <laughs> Giannini Sport, 1100. Yeah, they got smiles on their face. Have a good one! Topolinos really have the power, boy. It's chaos out here. Oh, 
Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay, we'll just look the other way. Dang, Relaney with a moto body on it. Yeah. Topolinos are everywhere. Even Oscars. Oscar. Driving school. Cars everywhere. Look out on Maserati. Yeah, there are problems in the middle of the hill. It's very tight. The NV8. A little education in Topolinos. The oldest on the right. And then these two here are quite similar. Well, there's all kinds of running around this afternoon. Try them out. The brave ones have a great ride. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Scrutineering continues to go on. Somehow some of these cars just look like they're ready for the Millimilia. And here's one we missed, an Abarth. No matter how you look at it, this is a beautiful car. From all angles. Tomorrow's the big day and they're getting all the stickers ready to go. Well, some of these cars just sneak in here. I don't know how. This is that Ferrari Mille Mille. Very fitting. And this is a Porsche with a wing. Oh, Ferrari Mondo. No. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Thank you. Very nice. I was told it's a Veritas. Some people call it Veritas and others. And this is an Abarth double bubble. About the only D-type Jaguar I've seen here this year. Thursday morning. Cars will gather today and the start will take place this afternoon. And a number of cars have already arrived. And the artist is already starting this morning. Oh, and the recording event has already started. The artist touch. It's quite a sight. In front of the Albergo Vittoria Hotel. You might call these the first two cars. I mean, maybe it's staged, but there's no lineup yet. Celebration's over, but we can see the tower, the famous for this square where the Millimilia took place. 90 years ago. Now the cars will get stamped and then park in town and leave at 2.30. But what is this? Is a joke? The unveiling. Let's we'll say they're about the same size. Why well, I win? Mean, that's got a Mercedes symbol on it. Whoa. A little cheesy tie, yeah? And again, the post office in the background, which is also a symbol of the square. All right, here's what every car gets. A symbol of their beginning the event. Now the stamp, it's a little wire, get the little lid on, carefully, then the tool. This car has been stamped, and that is it, and every car comes through your day gets that stamp. Now another thing about this car, they're serious about this event, that's extra electronic. 
Now on the sideline here, here is a Vespa boombox that has a record player in the sidecar. Believe it or not, this lady verifies that it is a Vespa boombox. It is. Well, here it is. Here's that. Here's that record player. That boombox. The boombox. Well, now we're getting into some of the serious cars here. Veritas. Already. Delahaye. Four-cylinder Maserati. Good stamp. Fiat Aerodynamica. Again, by the tower. Uh, he's been stamped now. Okay, okay, it's a Fiat 500. Just used for an advertising gimmick. A little publicity shot. Hell, they've been slowly drifting in today. Here's one of them, Bandini. Find up quite a noisy entrance. Interview next year. Uh, so we're going to do some tours. Quindi abbiamo trovato l'insegnante di fiammingo. They're ready. All sizes and all shapes. In Italian. Another blue car. Bellissima Cis Italia Sport. Ha suonato, si è accorto di aver un attimino e ci è rimasto. Oh, we do it. This is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of ti ha detto che parlava qualsiasi lingua, tu l'hai messo in giro. Buongiorno, buongiorno, papà, andiamo a Brescia. Lancia, c'era in uno degli originali di Mille Mille, 1950. BMW Contention. E potete fare il tap da voi, self service. Invece poi quando termineremo tutto, faremo anche i due temi di amici della Transenna. Continua a passare i nostri followers. Mi piace molto anche il... It's a media event. Sì, 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 allora mi dicono che la macchina uh, pian piano si deve muovere, quindi diamo questa comunicazione dopo la Yeah. 
side. Oh, yeah. Look, 
devo neanche dire quello che comunque e con quale eh, coraggio e umiltà tranquillamente prendermi il ricordo di questa giornata per la prima volta noi come RDS 110 programmi successi siamo onorati di essere qui alla Mille Miglia Max è stato dire venite allo stand venite per il cortile se non vedete per il cortile non dico che sono sparito pensare che io avevo deciso questo silenzio allora Poi con la musica, stiamo cioè, capendo gli sviluppi. Yeah, one of the Lincoln Mexican road race cars. Believe it or not. Let tell you, it's a tight fit. So how you look at it. The middle mainly brings out all kinds of publicity distributing machines. <laughs> Well, and now it's time for lunch. Here are these ladies that are going to go on the great millimeter in one great car. Now, here's a gathering of some really nice Italian cars. This dramatic car is an Allard. Very dramatic. For a little Italian atmosphere. And the atmosphere in town is remarkable. Seems like every place is a restaurant. Russian. Sitting next to uh, Alfa Romeo Villa d'Este is this awning Fiat. It's my gig, is It's warm today, so I think a little awning would help. To say there are crowds is an understatement. And the Mercedes-Benz uh, exhibit is not too bad either. So how about lunch? Others are dining a little more casually. A little differently. Here are the paninis being made. Beer is beer. They're waiting for the cars. This is a party. No matter which way you look, it's one endless place to eat and drink. Here are the real fans. Here are the people that really go for the millimilli. Oh, look at that. Sitting on a rock, waiting for the cars. Like I said, it's a warm day. We're almost ready for the start.
Bugatti. in Brescia, leaving town, going up to the castle and back. Emil car. You got it. You got it again. Pontia. Vienci. Vienci. Emil car. Another Bugatti. Emil car. Oh, here's Mercedes power. Here's an Emil car. Bugatti. Getting steeper. Ooh.
don't think he can make it. Oh, it's from the museum. Well, he got it started. I'm running very well. Beautiful Fiat. I said, the Alfa Romeo, a lot of got his top off. Look at this. Is that little spaceship? There it is. <laughs> now we're going to get this little spaceship. Never had a top on it. I'd rather 
wanted to see where the top line today, so. Really, really, after man, what, is he having trouble making a turn down there? Yeah, this guy's having some trouble. I don't know. I don't think it's the car. I think it's him. That's some girl with him. Maybe he'll just... He's having a good time. Bugatti is absolutely good. Grove in the Millimilia. Yeah. It's, I need wide angle for this. <laughs> Looks like they have four passengers. The crash helmets are on the back.
Billy Best down for mail. Small and large. Finally, we got a gold wing. I think I can, I think I can. Launch you. Saska. Not.
circle of the wing. It's too much millimilia. They're done in. Have another beer. The Republic of San Marino. We'll be watching the millimilia cars pass through this promontory this afternoon. And an easy way to get up is the tram. When you arrive at the top, 
this is what you get. The Adriatic Sea, the vent in the background, the Italian countryside. This is what you get. One more shot of this spectacular setting. The old cars are coming. Here's an OM. Here's the way they do the Milamelio, you know, racing street. The streets of San Marino Thunder. Just look at the background. <laughs> there you go. Here comes Mercedes Power. Uh, Alpha Male. We're going up the hill, is what we're doing. They're going back down. You got it. Yeah. Here I should 
machinery. Look at the scenery, it's just incredible. Give you another dosage of the steam in here. Hi, you guys. Convicted. This is 1920 Bugatti Type 23, driven by two girls. Followed by another Bugatti, and another Bugatti. It's a green Alfa Romeo. That's the mark. Lancia Lambda. Aston Martin. You got it, look at this one.
here comes the spaceship again without the roof.
And the afternoon wears on. I don't think there are many cars coming up the mountain anymore. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
very nice seat. Beautiful green, perfect. Perfect. Oh, we're getting near the end of the van. There's that Bugatti. But anyway, a farewell to San Marino. Well, there still are some stragglers. And of course, there are others that uh, didn't make it quite to the top of San Marino. A nice day for a convertible top. But then all of a sudden you look out the side and there's all the stuff that oil that came out. Hot little engine, you know? great looking. There's a pool of oil in the bottom though. Well, she's Italian. Wow. Well, there's a sad sight to the Mille Amelia when you have a problem like this. Now you combine that car with this car, it's doubly sad. It smells right, it looks in pretty good shape. I hate to watch people work, especially when it's tragic work. Well, we end the Mille Amelia with that note. It looks like they're going to get that one running somehow. I got the feeling. Well, I've just turned about 180 degrees, and here's what you've got looming over here. And there's San Marino up there, as we saw this morning. This is a spectacular place. <laughs> My God, here they are! We're headed towards the Autostrada. This is incredible. Oh, my God. You won't believe this. I'm going to get my ticket to go to Bologna. They're going to go south, I'll bet.